We're often asked what's the most dangerous kind of fracture you can get on a bicycle, carbon bicycle. Typically, we would say that that is the steering tube. Obviously, given what this is designed to do, in theory, it should be stronger than the surrounding structure. They're very, very heavily built, and generally speaking, the weaker portions of the frame, top tube, head tube, down tube, would fail before you have an issue with the thicker carbon that's built up here. In the case of this bike, the integrated carbon crown race piece has actually fractured and failed right at the worst point you could possibly expect it to, at the thickest point at its base, and yeah, not very good. Most bikes are designed in such a way that the fork would probably be the last point to fail. Typically, the designers would introduce some kind of, not pre-existing failure, but they would introduce a way in such that the down tube or the top tube or even the head tube would be designed to give way before the fork does. I say give way, I don't mean actually fail, but absorb the stress in effect before you have a failure of something critical like a steering tube. Head-on collisions, uh, a good place to always make sure to look is on the down tube, top tube area. In this case, there's actually a crack running down here where the fork has flexed and overflexed the carbon in the down tube, causing a failure. You can't simply assume that this is all that will be there. Um, obviously, in this case, the fork has actually failed as well on this particular occasion, but telltale signs normally appear around the front end of the bike when we're talking head-on impacts.